Good morning, respected GTA sir and my dear friends. My name is Siddharth and today I will talk on the topic Indian foreign policy. Good morning, respected GTA sir and my dear friends. My name is Siddharth and today I will talk on the topic Indian foreign policy. Let's understand that what are foreign policies. Foreign policies are the policies which are made by a country to have their good relations on different subjects and different objectives with other nations and with their neighbors. However, seeing this, India also started making its Indian foreign policy in 1947. We have we can observe till date that we have seen different as uh, different different times and the policies have been changing with time to time. However, we can bifurcate those time into three parts. One is Nehruism idealism, strategic realism, and economic reforms. However, seeing this, we can also observe that how important is it for a country to have good relations with their neighboring countries and in international organizations to have a good development in their country. Foreign policies plays a vital role in our development of a country and economy as we have some examples like Panchil agreement. However, this agreement stated a lot of things between India and China. Then we can see the non-alignment movement which was initiated by India when there was a disengagement between USSR. However, these all are the examples which tell us that it is quite important for us to keep our, uh, to keep our foreign policies strong. However, the main objectives of making a foreign policy is to secure the integrity of a country. However, we make the policies with an objective of the development of the country. Now, when we see the foreign policies should be feasible for the other countries also so that we can get foreign direct investments in our country. And however, we can have a kind of a thing which helps our country to grow. If we talk about employment, if we talk and take an example of employment, we can see that when we have a comfortable and adjusting foreign policy, automatically a lot of companies start in investing in our country. However, it keeps the foreign exchange reserves of the country stable. It brings out the national foreign policies are to be made in a feasible manner, but with the objective of keeping the integrity and security of the country safe and with an objective of development. Thank you.